Okay, so yesterday, um, one of our goats, Vigator, Landy's favorite goat, had her baby. I came out here about 9 o'clock in the morning, and I could tell she was in labor. So I went back in, and I waited, and I came back out, and she still hadn't had it. So I called a friend of mine, <laughs> who I got my original goats from, and she was so gracious. Her name's Annette Corsi. She was so gracious to walk me through it, and I helped her have the baby. I had to pull it out, and then sh she wasn't nursing. There wasn't any milk, and I couldn't figure out why. And so I took her in the barn and put a heat lamp. She was kind of shivering, and I took a heat lamp in there, <coughs> and I was feeding her and trying to help the baby nurse, but it wouldn't nurse. So. Another amazing friend, who I just met actually on my Parker County Homestead group, brought me some colostrum. His name was John, and I was able to feed her. And then uh, I needed to take her to the vet because I didn't know what to do because she wasn't passing her placenta, and I knew something was wrong. John had felt to see if he thought there was a baby in his stomach. She, he didn't feel one, but I didn't feel in her inside. So anyway, I took her to the vet, found out there was a dead baby, so he pulled it out and gave her some stuff, and now I've got her home, and the baby's actually nursing, so that's good. Um... So then Landy got home and we came out to see Vigener and did that. And and so she came home and she went to see Vigener and I was helping the baby to nurse. And um, she went to see the other baby in the other pen, um, the one that was born a few days ago. And she said, Mom, you're not going to believe this. There's two new baby goats walking around. So our goat Matilda had babies today. So we're babies, babies, um, and so that's what's going on on the Blooming Happiness Homestead right now. Hey, they're both boys. This is one boy, and that's another boy. I was trying to help her to nurse. I don't know if she's nursed yet or not. Snuggles is in labor. Good job, Snugs. She's smart. Yeah. You saw it as a girl? It's a girl, yeah, because when it came out, its tail was kind of up. It's a girl. It's its tail. I know. That's not good. I know. What's going on? I watched it. What? I watched, I watched them. So I sat over here while Snuggles had the first one, which is the... Well, you gotta tell them. They don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, so Snuggles was in labor, and I came out here and I sat down, and she splotted out this beautiful black baby with long white ears. <laughs> so adorable. And then there was another one with a tail. The tail was coming out, and I was like, 
okay, I'm glad there's another one, yay, but the tail's coming out. So I told mom, or actually mom noticed it, and then she called someone or whatever, and then anyway, she went inside to get something. She came out, and I got to watch. I, I came to, I went to get oh. some stuff in case she needed help with it, because it was breached. Yeah, anyway, so, and then it just slowly came out, and it was half, I was like, it's going to be just fine, and then it came out, and it's a girl, two of my girls. And then she just laid back down and plopped out another one. She is the best goat ever having babies. Like, she's so fast at it. Anyway, and it plopped out, and it's tiny. <laughs> it's a tiny. Shall we show them? Yeah. Okay. Look at those little babies. There's three of them. Baby girl number one is over there. Baby girl number two is right here. Baby, I do not know their name. That's the <laughs> smallest one. And she, baby number three, has four. Yes, it does. Chickens need to go away. Yes. Come on, baby. Uh -oh! So, we've got three new mommies. No, one, two, three, four new mommies. So, I just went out to do my chores this morning. And for, for an update, we had um, three new babies born yesterday, actually five new babies born yesterday. The one that was born like a week ago um, is doing very good. And Viganer, who I had to take to the vet, um, she's the one who had the stillborn still inside her. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff, so I, I needed help. So I didn't, I didn't do um, that, but next time I think I would know what to do. And so, um, but I went out there this morning and, and the little runt, the little boy um, of, the, of the triplets was dead. Um, he was so beautiful. He was black and he had a white patch on his side and a couple of white patches on his, on his legs. He was really pretty. I hated to see that, but he was the runt and the other two are doing well, and um, so that's kind of an update on what's going on here at the homestead today, Blooming Happiness Homestead, and we're doing amazing, and everything's going good, and I'm really starting to realize um, everything happens for our good. Everything happens, everything, God brings everything together for us, and if we could just have more faith and not worry and I love the verse be anxious for nothing but in all things with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known to God etc I love that verse it is one of my favorites so anyway I hope you guys have an awesome day today and I will talk to you soon okay so this is Viganer and her baby we haven't named yet she's not really wanting to let her nurse a lot she hasn't connected with her very well for some reason but I come out and help her nurse and she does let her nurse some so we're trying to figure that out you go over there with your mommy so we're trying to figure that out I don't know why they do that so aggravating no, stay. Let your baby eat. Let your baby eat. So, anyway, if I kind of hold her or give her some food, she lets her eat. So that's Viganer and her baby.